Call of Duty 2 is the best World War 2 game I ever played and I will now explain why it is the best. After creating the first game, Infinity War perfected this game by adding enchantments. First, let's talk about the story. During the 2005 release period of the game, World War II games typically didn't tell a story. They focused more on creating an atmosphere to captivate players. This was also true for the first game. However, Infinity War attempted to tell a story and narrative in Call of Duty 2. The game begins with the Soviet campaign. Unlike the first game, the Soviet campaign in the second game is shorter, with the entire portion set in Stalingrad excluding the training section by the way. It consists of short but beautiful segments that warm up the player to the game. After the Soviet campaign, the British campaign begins and we fight in North Africa with Captain Price and Private McGregor. This is where the game starts to tell a narrative, a story. While not deeply intricate, it provides more of an environment narrative. We witness the difficulties Captain Price and McGregor face observing their actions in stressful situations. The American campaign, in contrast to the previous game, narrates a unit during the Normandy landing. With the American army, we try to break through and hold the German lines in France. In my opinion, the most epic and action-packed campaign in the game is the American campaign. The part where we retreat and are on the verge of being overrun was my favorite. It was an outstanding section. The game's plot is roughly like this. Infinite World once again delivers three campaigns and all three are fantastic. Now let's look at the gameplay. Call of Duty 2 is an FPS action game set in the era of World War II. Since it takes place during that period, the weapons of that time, which were the most used and deadliest weapons in history, are seamlessly presented to the player. Building upon the weapon usage, hit sensations and animations of the first game, the second game advances the system. Rifles, light machine guns, nearly emerging machine guns of that era, and mountable heavy machine guns, as well as pistols, all look great, have excellent animations and provide a satisfying experience. My favorite weapons were the Thompson and M1 Garand. The Thompson, with its fast reload and being a submachine gun, saved me numerous times. The M1 Garand, on the other hand, was the best weapon for me at medium and long range. For those familiar with these matters, the sound the M1 Garand makes when reloaded is excellent. It is also known as the M1 Garand Ping. Apart from weapons, there are grenades, but there are quite classic explosive grenades and smoke grenades. Each nation has a different explosive grenade, but to me, these grenades didn't feel very different from each other. They may differ in appearance, but functionally, there's not much distinction in the game. In addition, there is a section where we use a tank, but I never like using tanks. I will not talk about tank usage since I will not be impartial about something I don't like. The Call of Duty series has always had good graphics for its time. This is also true for Call of Duty 2. Even today, this game can look beautiful. Some players, probably because they are new or young, may look at old games and say, no, this game doesn't look good. The point these players are mistaken is this, Call of Duty 2 is an old looking game, but it is not a bad looking game. Call of Duty 2 is a quite beautiful looking game. Besides, good looking weapon visuals, character models and level visuals also look great. The level design is quite enjoyable. Call of Duty games usually finish in about 5 or 6 hours and the main reason for this is the maps of the game. The maps are small but well designed in a linear progression and I don't expect anything better in a linear progressing game. Let's talk about sound and music. The sounds and music of Call of Duty 2 are also very very good. The sound effectively immerses you in the atmosphere of war. The music is also fantastic. Graham Revell did an amazing job. Also, I would like to provide some information about the voice cast. Most of the actors in the voice cast are individuals who have acted in the famous series 
Band of Brothers. Additionally, let me share another piece of trivia. The Captain Price in the game is the grandfather of Captain John Price for the Modern Warfare trilogy. In conclusion, Call of Duty 2 is an excellent game in every aspect for me. With its story, characters, gameplay, everything, it's a fantastic game. I don't easily give a game a diamond medal, but Call of Duty 2 truly deserves it. Our next Call of Duty review will be Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare because the third game is not available on computers. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and like my videos. See you soon.